Hello and welcome back to my channel She Talks Systems. I am back with another video. This one is going to be so much fun. Today I am walking you through the back end of the Dubsado client portal. So if you're a new Dubsado user and you are just getting to grips with using it or you're just curious to know what is this client portal, what does it do, what are the benefits of using it within Dubsado, then stick around with me. I'm going to show you exactly how I use it within my business and how you can benefit from it. So as you can see on screen, I do have my portal settings already up for you. So these are, um, this is inside of my own Dubsado and you can access the portal settings via here, settings and then portal. Now what is super cool is that you can actually customize and brand out your Dubsado portal for your clients. So the portal is essentially an area for you to share for your clients to have access to their forms and um, you can share key information such as their invoices, appointment details, um, you can link in um, PDF documents and various other you can link in documents such as PDFs or a Google Drive as well if you wish. So the portal really does have its benefits. Um, what it does is eliminate the lot of the back and forth if clients are missing out on files and just um, coming to you asking you to resend forms and things like that. It eliminates all of that back and forth and keeps everything in one place, keeps everything organized, which I love. So these are all of the settings that you have available within the portal portal area. So before I actually log in, I will log in and show you what mine looks like. Um, I just want to share what these settings mean and how you can really customize it. And then we'll log in and show you what that actually looks like on a live version. So in terms of my client portal, and um, so I've got these two boxes, first of all, are ticked. Um, so there is a default welcome message that you can have. And when you start to use Dubsado, there's a very um, just generic default welcome message. And it's, you know, the brand in the fonts. If you're anything to do with aesthetics, then it just definitely will not mesh with you. Um, and so I just tick to hide this um, so that it doesn't show. And that's also another reason why I do have a banner here because then I can add my welcome message in the banner instead. Um, next, we have a label, which is a projects, a portal projects label override. So if you have a specific name for your projects, for example, if you're a wedding planner, you could say your wedding. Um, if you are um, a coach, you might have the name of your coaching program that your clients have opted into. Um, just keep in mind that this is very generic as well. So um, this will be used across the board. So if you have different services that have different names, I wouldn't necessarily choose one name for this label. And so for me, I'm happy to keep it quite generic and just use projects. Um, and now the next area I have ticked is my logo. So I want to hide the logo in my portal um, and as you can see, I haven't uploaded a logo in this section. Now, by default, I do have a logo here, so that will show, but I do tick this to just close it down. And that just means that um, the logo just will not show inside of my portal and on the banner. So on the other side, we do have portal banner colors. So, or we have colors to customize the portal. So how do I know what colors relate to what section? Um, so first of all, the portal banner is the banner overall. So that's this entire section. So the portal banner color, I essentially just always put this as white. Um, really, if you're going to use a banner, there's no difference. It won't show through. And um, so I just put that to white and then I can just upload my banner as I need. Um, but we do have the font color. So the portal banner font color is different. So this will essentially show your client the logout button so it will show them how they can log out of their portal so you do want to ensure that this is visible so you'll see that I've got a black overlay the logout button is in this section of the screen and we'll see that in, in a moment so I'm going to keep this white I could also have it as gold that will also show up um but white is absolutely fine so I'll just ensure that this um this is visible on my banner 
And then I've got a summary header. So when you log into the portal, you'll actually be able to see um, some headers um, that will have titles for the project, for emails, for the invoice, and um, for things like that, for profile. Um, so you'll be able to see what this color is. And then again, these headers have font colors attached to them. So there are there is writing and titles on these headers. So I also want to make sure they are visible. And then down below, I've got my copy links, my share links. So I can share these out publicly. I can embed this on my website so that clients have easy access to their portal. So let's see how we can actually log in. So if I actually um, pull up my test account. I have a test account here within Dubsado. There is a clear area here called the portal. So I can actually click on this drop down menu. It's already active as it's in green. And what I can do is go to view. So if I click on view, what that does is it opens up the portal in a brand new area. So that is super, super cool, right? So it opens up the portal banner in this area for me. Um, additionally, if I go back and I want to click send, I can um, send this out and it will pull up an email to send out to clients. So this is a canned email. It will just have this sent straight away out to clients. So let's log in and just, just literally see what is going on inside of the portal area. So as clients sign in, um, I do recommend keeping the password section clear unless you absolutely have to. The reason I say that is because by default, the email address will be the login password for your clients. So um, that's a lot easier if you do just want to streamline that whole process for your clients being able to log in. So you can see that if this is inside of my own very own client portal, it is very branded and customized to the aesthetics of my business. Um, um, so this is the banner image that was uploaded into the Dubsado settings. And you can see that I've added my own logo here, my own welcome message. And again, because it's customized to my portal, I have, I can play around with the fonts and placement and really make it my own. And again, the logout button is visible in white. So that's just exactly how they correlate. Now, if we look down below, we've got the home button. So it brings you into a dashboard area. So this is essentially um, the first screen that you will always see whenever you log into the Dubsado portal. So going alongside the tabs, we then have the projects. So this is the name of the tab that you can actually change in the settings area if you do want to update this for your clients. Your emails, so any emails that have been sent to and from you and your clients will all be housed here. And then you have your client's profile. They're actually able to go in and update their profile details while they're working with you, which I think is super cool. So on the dashboard screen, you'll have your business information. So your clients can also know how they can contact you and they can have in access to that straight away. They'll also be told how many emails they haven't read, how many forms they haven't completed and how many open invoices they have. So this is obviously a test account. So you can see there's a lot of emails that I have not opened. Dubsado will track and allow you to see if your emails have been viewed by clients, if they have been opened by clients. Um, and also any forms that are completed will be stored and saved within the client portal, which is great. So this is telling me that I've got an unsigned contract, an unsigned agreement, and there are also some forms attached to this particular client project. Now, if we click on projects, what Dubsado will do is for the client, it will list out all of their projects. You can see here that we've got quite a few appointments that have been cancelled. Um, and we also have some documents that are attached here. We've got a feedback call. We also have um, a task board, which is also attached to this client project as well. So you can see that there are various different usage um, that's here. So if I was to click on another one, these projects are all attached to um, the client. So within Dubsado, you will be able to have various projects for your one client. And so the client portal will attach all of these different projects to your one client specifically. So they can always go through and see exactly what, what project they are um, interested in viewing the most. Now you'll see here that we have something slightly different and this is a Google Drive link. So within Dubsado, you can actually import the Google Drive or you can import additional links into your client portal area for your clients to actually refer back to. And if I click on this link, it will just pull me straight through to that URL that is attached.
And so if there are invoices, if there are appointments, um, my client can cancel their appointment, they can reschedule their appointment, they can open up any forms um, from this area. So they really can come in here and manage themselves while they are working with you. Um, and that takes you out of a lot of the back and forth in your communications with your clients. So in the next tab, we have our emails. So any email that is sent between you and your client will be stored within here. So this is essentially the inbox. And um, so there's no excuses. If you know an email has been sent and the client says they haven't seen it, chances are it could be within their spam folder. Um, but you're also able to see if they've opened up the email. So this is an old email that was sent three months ago. The client has not opened it up at all. So this is another email that was also sent out seven months ago so you can really go back through all of the emails that have been sent out this one was sent and I can see that it was viewed a month ago so it lets me know whether my emails are being seen whether they're being received and viewed by our clients so the next area is the profile area. So this is, of course, an area for your clients to go in and update their own details so they can come in here and they can update their details and ensure that everything is up to date in their, in their system. And when they're finished, they can simply just log out. And that is it. That is exactly how they can use the, the client portal within Dubsado. And so what's really great within um, with using the Dubsado portal is that one, it's branded. Two, it is functional. It keeps everything organized, keeps everything in one place for your clients. Three, you can also share this in different areas. So you can share it on your website. You can share it in emails. You can also activate it automatically within your client workflows. So if you are using it within your onboarding, in process for example then you can also ensure that Dubsado switches open that client portal and your clients can have access to it right away thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please feel free to drop them below make sure you like and subscribe this video and I will see you guys next time for another video